You know, nothing beats being in a storm to know exactly what's happening with it. That's where the Hurricane Hunter aircrafts come in. These planes are specially modified to investigate one of nature's biggest monsters. You don't often get to see a Hurricane Hunter plane up close, but a couple were on display recently at the Marathon Airport. They all have a little bit different personality. You know, some will just, you know, knock your back teeth uh, out, and some are uh, more like a, a roller coaster or a, or a ride, like the Tower of Terror or something. That's how one Hurricane Hunter pilot describes flying through storms. I think probably one of the biggest things as a pilot, you know, as we're flying in this, these huge storms, um, is the surreal nature of it. Uh, you know, of course, it, it can be pretty rough, uh, you know, in the storm as we're penetrating the eye, going through the different quadrants. But the pilots and crew are always aware that they're not the only ones feeling a storm's fury. Just to think what's what's going down at the surface and the devastation that can occur. Um, and of course, we're all coastal residents uh, for the most part. One of the primary missions of the Hurricane Hunter aircraft is to not only fly through the storm and sample the environment, but to see what's going on all the way down to the ocean. And to accomplish that, they drop one of these. It's called a GPS drop sign. As it comes out of the plane, a parachute deploys, and it floats down to the ocean surface. They get it out of the airplane with this tube right here. They put it into place, and when it's ready to go, the meteorologist on board says, drop it. We're actually recording these storms, uh, so we can go back also for training and look at how we penetrated the storm, because we have to avoid the least of the severe weather. Um, we don't fly just through the most severe just to fly through it, so we try to go around it. Um, but that data, that real-time data that the National Hurricane Center is getting, they just can't get from the satellite. Uh, we're the only ones that can get it in the eye. The first Hurricane Hunters began flying way back in the 1940s. There are now 10 such aircraft that fly directly into the core of tropical cyclones.